Okay, so today we're going to be doing a quick demo um, during this webinar on a trellis style ring um, like the one you see now in the viewport. We will go ahead and get started. Um, so I'm going to input a cathedral ring rail first. This will be the base of our ring. I'm going to pull the viewport handles and just get something very simple. Um, then I'm going to put a gym on curve, gym on ring rail rather, which will put a gym on a on my inside ring rail. Then I'll pull the viewport handles um, up to where I want the model. And that looks pretty good. So now um, I'm going to turn my auto hide off. Um, this will just make sense in a little bit, um, so just bear with me. Um, so next I need to put <coughs> prong locations for this stone. So I'm going to run the gym guides um, and turn the, the horizontal off because I don't need those. As I said, I'm building a trellis ring, um, so I want just the verticals because these will act as my prongs. Okay, let's right click to accept. So now I have um, different curves. So what I want to do is create that that um, arc that comes up from the shank and goes up to inevitably be the prong. So I'm going to go over to the curve and I will blend curve. Okay, so I need to pull these viewport handles to where I would like them. So I'm going to create the prong with this curve. So it's going to come from the shank, cross over, and then up. So this is my first one. So now I need one on this side that will overlap that curve we just put. So let's do this. So I'm going to go to a through view and make sure they cross close to this center point. Um, you don't want the cross to be way over here and be off center. So that looks about good. And I will right click to accept. So now I have one, two. I will go into blend, sorry, and toggle the join curve. And what that's going to do, it's going to join the whole curve from top all the way down. Then I'll do the same for this blend. Toggle the join. Right click. So next I have excess curves. I don't need all of this. So I'm going to trim curve, which is a new dynamic command. And pull it all the way. And then I'll just trim the locations that I need. Let's do that. So now I have a curve that I can GV hide, and I just have that crossover curve. So I'm going to do the same to this one. Trim curve one more time. Pull the viewport handles. Right click. Now I can <clears throat> GV hide this one. So now I have two ring rails and two curves. Okay, so next I need to pipe these. So I'm going to go under solid and run the dynamic pipe. Okay, so I need to change this because that's a little thin. So let's go point, we'll do that one to 
2.85 and this one 2.55. I'm going to do single surface on and that's going to give me that nice fluid uh, prong. And then I'll do the same for this one. Um, I will pipe. Let's do 0 0.55, 0 0.85, and single surface. Okay. Can right click to accept. So now you see I have one side. Um, I notice my prong nudge is a little close. So I'm going to go back to my gym guides, edit, and then kick out my girdle spacing a bit. Right click, and it's applied. Okay, so let's get these over to the other side. So I need to go under transform. I will do the mirror command. So what it's doing now is over the Y axis. So I need to do a rotate with copy. So I need to mirror X and then mirror Y. Right click. So now I have a rotate with copy. And now we just need um, two things really. One to cut the excess right here and two to make the shank. So I need to go back and pull um, this cathedral into the stone a bit. So I can always go back to the dynamic command, hit edit, and then pull it how I want. Simple right click and all of that applies. Um, so I see I have a gap right here. So what I want to do is come here, edit my trimmed curve and I can bring it down. Right click. Edit this one. Pull it down a bit more. And now we can do the shank. So I'm going to go under Tools, and I'm going to Profile Place. I'll select my first curve, select my outside curve, adjust my width, and then I'm going to change the profile to something flat on the bottom, like this half round. Let's change this to 3 millimeters. Then I'll add one more at the bottom and we'll taper it to 3.5. So I can activate the auto sweep and it will automatically sweep if I want to take a look. So I can right click. Now I'm going to select this curve and put a profile cap on it. Do that and now I can take this shank and mirror it over. So I'm going to transform again and dynamic mirror. And now I have a completed shank. You may be saying, well, it's intruding into the finger rail. Um, we will get to that. Okay. So now we're ready to cut the excess. Um, so what we're going to do is put an additional finger rail in here at the same size as the cathedral. And then I'm going to go under cutters, going to cut to ring rail. So it's asking me to select a ring rail. So select that one we just put in, then our surfaces, right click. And now I can select them one more time, GV hide. And I have a nice um, trellis ring. If I wanted, I can add stones right here. I can even come here, find the gym on ring rail. If I pull it down, everything will adjust as well. What's cool about building in Matrix Gold, as I said, is the dynamic history. Um, so I'm able to come here. Um, let's say, you know, the, the customer wants a different shape. Of profile. Uh, let's say they want more of a square or even a triangle, right? Let's select the one we want and we can change it to a triangle shape. 
another cool thing let's say the customer comes in sees this model that you've already done but they're a finger size 9 I can select that right click select that dummy ring rail change that to a 9 as well and it's done um, so that's pretty cool also let's say customer comes in and they want a different shape stone um, so let's say they want a princess or they want an oval pretty much all of your symmetrical stones will work with this um, all the other ones you may need to do a bit of adjusting but it's it'll be pretty simple and even if I increase the size and pull it up the model adapts so that is our quick trellis ring um, I'm going to do a full save so now whenever I open this up it's in my library so I can file new and import it in one more time all of my history that I built the model with comes back over so I can come back here and change it if I want well that is all I had for you guys today I certainly appreciate you joining this Wednesday webinar uh, as always we will be here every Wednesday to demo the matrix gold for you if you have any questions or comments please contact us at Jim vision the phone number is 1-800-357-6272 and um, if you like I said if you had any questions feel free to contact us we'll be more than happy to help thank you